Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our our Sunday gathering, our circle of love with unity of love and understanding. As always, I invite you to join me as we open up with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I know you always hear us. And it's from this place that we speak a word of peace, peace that envelops this, this entire world and universe. We speak a, a word of love, which is the energy of God that connects us all together. We claim and declare that peace and love reign supreme, even when it doesn't appear to be so right now. Because the connections are always there. Love is always available to us all. So we send it out to everyone in need. We bless everyone, bar none. And we embrace this entire planet and the universe. Thank you, Father. And so it is. Amen. Well, we have a, a one of our own doing a our opening song for us. Let me highlight Sharon Smith. Good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. Connecting to the universe. I'm going to sing a song called The Prayer. I pray you'll be all right. And watch us where we go And help us to be wise In times when we don't know Let this be our prayer when we lose our way, lead us to a place, guide us with your grace to a place where we I pray we'll find your light and hold it in our hearts when stars go out at night you'll be our guiding light let this be our prayer when we lose our way lead us to a place guide us with your grace to a place where we'll be safe Lead us to a place, guide us with your grace, to a place where we'll be saved. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, wonderful way to start the day. Thank you. Today's reading is from uh, Practical Spirituality by John Randolph Price. The primary work of the ancient teaching was the destruction of the old personality, 
and the awakening of consciousness to the divinity of the individual. And one of the first activities was planting the seed of truth. You know, one of the biggest questions that we have as we we grow and develop in our spiritual basis is, who am I? Who am I? You know, uh, many people answer, well, I'm, I'm American, I'm Italian, I'm this nationality or another. Well, they say, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a lawyer, I'm a doctor. You know, I'm the career that I am. That's who I am. And, you know, you look in the mirror and you say, is what I see here everything? And the first seed of truth is to get an intimate understanding that there's a lot more to you. This universe created in that time of the Big Bang is ever-expanding. It's stars are, are bursting forth, new universes, new galaxies, new universe. There's, multi, there's probably a multiverse here, which we can't even fathom. It's, it's gone on for hundreds of millions of years and it's just continuing to expand. But realize that the same things that are in the stars themselves are inside of you. The same energy that created this universe is inside of you. That's very powerful. You are not just what you see in the mirror. There's something that's deeper and, and richer and eternal. And it's something that connects us all together. In my prayer, when I opened up, I called that energy love. Because it is a divine energy that connects. Not just individuals, but love connects everything. Every one. Every sentient being. It connects us all to one another. It's how you can love the earth. You can love the animals. You can love all these things because it's not an emotion, but it's a divine connection back and forth. And our first introduction into beginning to understand truth is to see ourselves for who we really are. Not just the flesh and bones that we see in the mirror. To go deeper. To feel and sense the divinity within us. Now, up to this point in time, most people in this, on this planet in particular, believe that Everything that happens, they need to make happen. Either themselves or those who are, they trust around them make things occur for them. And without that, things would not happen. And it's a huge leap of faith to understand that there's something inside of us that has our highest and best interest in us all the time and wants to guide and support us all the time. It's always available, but it's never pushing itself on you. It's never making you do something. It's that little whisper in your ear that says, you know, have you thought about this? This is a possibility. You know, last week, I, I really talked about infinite possibilities. And that's true. 
because there are an infinite way to accomplish the things that we desire. In our own view, it's very myopic, it's very short-sighted. We only see things that we know of. Because the way that our mind thinks is that it only connects to what it's experienced. If it hasn't experienced it, it doesn't know it. It can't connect to it. There's an infinite possibility. Therefore, when we allow this immense power within us to guide and support us, we're allowing the infinite possibilities to be the guide, to trust, to trust that this divine guidance is always available and will always, always, always show us the highest and best for us. That's a huge leap of faith. That's not something that you acquire in way of your strength of faith overnight. When you come to an understanding that, yes, there is a, a power and a presence that's within me, you don't immediately say, I know, I'm absolutely certain that this divine presence is guiding and supporting me. You need some experience. You need some time to develop that faith. You need some time to approach it and allow it to settle into your, your system, to, to have experiences that where you've stepped out in faith, where you've trusted this guidance, how things turned out. And you go, wow, things turned out perfect. They may not have looked that way in the beginning, but as I look back, everything worked out the way it was supposed to. Say, oh, I lost that job. Well, you were supposed to lose that job so you could get into the next position that was far greater, and the other one was restraining you, constraining you. All of this happens over time, over an experiential piece of our life. And as you add these pieces of experience, your faith begins to grow. You start to see and understand that it's always working for you. But in the beginning, you don't have that strength. So I tell people, when you get this epiphany that the presence and the power of God is within me, be quiet. Be still. Don't run at your mouth. Don't shout it from the rooftops. Because there are so many people out there that haven't had that realization. They will tear you apart. But when you build up that faith by experience, time and time again, and you look back and you say, you know, it's always, it's always, always come through for me. It's always provided the best in the highest direction. It's always worked out perfectly. Now you're building and building on top of that faith so that no matter what anyone throws at you, you smile and say, no problem. I know what I believe. I know what my experience has been. And the presence and the power of God works. That's where we want to be. That's where we want to be. And when you allow yourself to be in that space, everything unfolds in an easy and effortless manner. When you're trying to force it, that's your ego talking. When you're trying to make it happen, that's your ego in fear. Because you're afraid that if you don't make it happen, it's not going to happen the way you want it to. Versus, I trust that I'm being guided and supported by the divine, the creator of, of this entire universe. If, if this 
creative energy can create planets and universes and galaxies, how easy it is to create the things that I need in my life. It's like a snap of the fingers. But it takes time to develop. This is a, this a gestation period. It's like, it's like birthing a baby. It takes time for that, that child to grow and to nurture. And sometimes when we birth that child, it's just like a, a human birth. It's painful. But when we see what we've done, when we see what we've created, we're exhilarated. This is the truth about who you are. This is about living life in a way that is peaceful, is loving. It's not competitive. It's not trying to beat someone else out. It's not in fear that you don't have enough. It's in absolute faith from the, not just the guidance, that from the experiences that you have, that it will always return to you multiplied. Whatever you're bringing forth, whatever your desire is, it's there to be fulfilled. John Pearson and I, who's on this call, we pray every, every week. And one of the, the prayer pieces that we say for each other is your inner desire is God's highest desire for you. You wouldn't have that desire if it wasn't meant to be fulfilled. It's absolutely true and real. You are there always. You are at the forefront of all this. But if you don't utilize it, if you don't allow this presence, this wisdom, this, this guidance to work through you, it, it says no problem. You don't, you don't need me. Uh, that's not a problem. You do what you're going to do. I am here if you need me. I'm always with you. It's coming to a realization that I don't make anything happen. I love the words of Jesus. I of myself, I do nothing. It's the Father. It's the, this divine presence and guidance that does all the work. I simply show up with a willingness to be a conduit for that. And as I am, everything flows through me in an easy and effortless way. It looks like miracles. It's just everyday occurrences with the Spirit of God and the infinite possibilities that are inherent within that Spirit. You and I have infinity within us. We are amazing dynamic individuals that are part of this whole. We are part and parcel of this entire universe, not just this planet, not just this nation, not just this family. We are part and parcel. Expand yourself out and understand that you are infinite and just like this universe is continuing to expand, so are you. So are you. This is what you need to hear. This is what you need to work from. This is how you live your life. Working with the energy of love that's inherent within you, connecting to not just family members, but everyone that you meet. Everyone becomes your brother and sister. 
Therefore, how could you hurt or harm anyone? It's all part of you. When you put all that stuff away, when you let it all go, you're creating an environment that is absolutely self-generating in good and love and compassion. Because it's emanating from within you to the without. You are the center of the universe. I love my, my, my dear friend, Reverend Dr. O.C. Smith, had a, a license plate that said, you are God. Now, that's blasphemy to so many people. But the reality is, you are God. The presence, the power of God is right within you. All of the old mystics said the same thing. Right where you sit right now is holy ground because the presence of God is within you. That wasn't just for them. That's for you. Because we are them just continuing on. It's all of us. There's only one of us here. There's different aspects. There's different ideas. We're all unique. But when you bring us all together, this is the presence of God personified. That's who we are. That's who you are. When you remember that, when you live from that space, your entire life changes because you're no longer trying to get and acquire things. You're doing your best to share because you know that sharing provides an avenue for the good of God to flow through you. That's what we're here for. We're here to share with one another. And when we understand that truth, that's the truth that makes you free. So let's get still for a moment. Let's take in that truth that God's love is everywhere present. It's coursing through your veins in this very moment. And then it's the energy that as you walk into a room connects you to each and every individual that's there. That when you step in, you become the blessing because you're radiating the love of God. And people don't even understand why they feel so good around you because they're catching who they are. God in the flesh. Spirit individualized. So we bless each other on this life journey. We awaken to birth the truth of, of our true nature. And we allow that nature to absolutely move through us touching each and every individual we come in contact with and blessing everyone, bar none. We know truth. We live truth. We say, ego, get thee behind me. Go away. I live the life that I was destined to live I live the life of God right now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Amen. Brother Ed, what do you got for us today?
Looking back on the road behind Seems I've always been traveling blind How much further must I climb Before I reach the place I must find I could circle back But I turn within I catch a glimpse of where I've always been And the truth will show Everywhere I go Everywhere and right where I stand Feels like coming home to a place I've always known, and in the stillness, I know that I am. And I remember, be still, and know, be still, and know. Be still and know who I am I was trapped inside And I called out But no one heard my call if there's a if there's a unseen hand why won't why won't it stop my phone I shook my fist at the darkness and cursed with all my might I was standing with my back turned to the light The truth will show Everywhere I go Everywhere and right where I stand Feels like coming home To a place I've always known And in the stillness I know that I am And I remember Be still and know Be still and know Still I know I am Here I am outside your gate Just like the prodigal son Wanting just to know you and Know that we are one Maybe all the love I've lost Has led me to your door could it be I am the source of the love I've been searching for? The truth will show Everywhere I go Everywhere and right where I stand And it 
feels like coming home to a place I've always known. In the stillness, I know that I am. And I remember, be still and know. 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 I. Thank you, Brother Ed Munter. Thank you. Um, this is our conscious sharing time, so I'm going to put up donation information. So, first of all, remember that what you do is you sharing your love. You're sharing your love, and as you share your love, your, your love returns to you multiply. So hold that in your, your mind with whatever you do and do whatever it is that you do with love so there's multiple ways you can go to our website and make a donation to uh, right there on the website unityoflovingyou.org uh, you can and more you can do Zelle, you could mail a check whatever you feel like doing. but again whatever you do, make sure that the energy of love is at the forefront so let's simply stop and let's bless the gift. Let's bless the giver and just know that everything's unfolding in our lives individually and collectively with love, compassion, and joy now and forever. Amen. Let me uh, stop that share and I'll put up... Uh, the uh, prayer protection. So this is James Dillard Freeman's prayer protection. I'd like to say this together. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Amen. Well, I want to say thank you for joining us today and for being part of this. And for those who are seeing this on Facebook, I'm sorry, on uh, uh, YouTube, uh, this is not the end. Everyone who's online right now, and when we stop the recording, gets an opportunity to share their their own ideas about the topic and about their own life. We learn from one another. So I invite you to join us any Sunday at 9.50 a.m. Pacific time. Just go to that website, unityoflovingyou.org. There's a topic. It describes what we're going to talk about and a Zoom link. Press that Zoom link, you'll be led into a room, and you'll be part of this. We want to hear your insights, because we do learn from each other. So, please, join us. Let's finish off with a prayer, and then I'll stop the recording, and we can start our sharing. I am. We are. And God is. God is everything, and we are all part and parcel of it. The most sacred word in the Hebrew language is Yahweh. I am that I am. We are part of that. 
we're part of that infinite presence. We're part of that infinite wisdom. We are allowing that in this moment. We've made a conscious choice to know that our consciousness is the consciousness of God. And as we allow the, the wisdom, the love, the abundance, the peace, the joy, the relationships, the health, the wholeness, the well-being of God to flow through our being, it's appearing as us. So we bless each other. We bless all this, this entire planet. We say peace now for each and every one. Now and now and forever. And so it is. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Let me stop the recording and then we'll start our sharing.